All right, um, today we need to talk about how verbs and verb conjugation works. Okay, so hopefully you remember a verb is an action word. All right, verbs have to be in a sentence. You can't have a sentence without a verb, okay? And they have to be changed. So for example, in English, you have uh, like a word like to be. You can't just throw this into a sentence like I to be tall, All right? This sounds really weird and you can't just do that. So in order to use this, you need to change this basic form of this verb into something like am to be able to use it. Okay. Changing to be to am, this process is called conjugation. All right, so let's write that down. Conjugation means to change a verb to fit your subject. Change a verb to fit the subject. Okay? So when you change a verb to fit the subject, that's conjugation. In English, we do this a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, so you might take a word like run, and that would be like I run, you run, but he runs. Right here, all of a sudden, we get an S on this run, um, and that's because it needs to match the person who is doing the running. That's the subject. The person who's doing that action is the subject. So. You have to do this in English, but just a little bit. Okay. In, in Spanish, it's a little bit more involved. Okay. So we have some verbs that you guys are, are familiar with. We've used them before. Um, let's take something like comprar. Right. Comprar, this means to buy. Okay. Um, in order to change this, you need to use, there's a couple of charts that we use. And you've seen these a couple times, but they draw these six charts. Okay, each of these spots uh, is for a certain subject. Okay, so we've got I in this spot, you, he, she, it, usted, we, y'all, they, and you all. And these are put in these boxes for a reason with, with verbs that end in an AR, like comprar. You get certain suffixes that you use that correspond with these subjects. Okay, so if I'm the one who's doing the buying, I need to use this suffix with an O. Okay, if you're the one who's doing the buying, then I need to use this suffix, which is AS. He, she, it, or usted, which is the formal you, they use an A. We would go with amos, y'all goes with ice. This does have an accent on the A, and um. All right, so the process you go to take this to buy, to be able to change it, you're going to take off this, this last two letters, this AR, and add one of these. Okay, so if I do that, for example, if I take the AR off and I put an O, this means I buy, okay? If I wrote it with this one, with an AS, compras, the AS means that we're talking about you. You're the one doing the buying. So this is you buy, okay? Any of these will change it. If I put an AN, Compran, A-N, that means they buy, okay? So you need to use these together to make your conjugations, okay? To change those to fit in the sentence. A lot of English speakers will like to, instead of doing this process the correct way, they will completely ignore this chart and just put the pronoun like yo, which in Spanish means I, and then say comprar and not change this basic version. This is completely wrong. Don't do that. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody can understand you. Okay. All right. A couple things to note. 
In Spanish, all verbs end in either an AR, an ER, or an IR. Okay, there's just these three types of endings. If a word ends in this, it's like 99% positive that it's a, a verb, okay? Write this chart down. This one is for AR verbs, okay? So if the verb ends in an AR, like in your vocabulary list, it's gonna use these suffixes. If it ends in an ER, it will use almost the same. They're almost the same, except that all the A's turn into E's. So you get an O, ES, and E, E-M-O-S, E-I-S with an accent on the E and the E-N, okay? Same process, so let's take, if we had like, um, let's erase this. A word like comer means to eat. If you wanna change it from to eat to you eat, we're gonna take this E-R, cut it off, and then here, U is here in this middle left box. Go here, middle left box is an ES. So you're going to say com, ace, com is, you eat. Okay? That's that process. IR verbs are almost the same as ER ones. They use all the same endings, except these two. This one is we and y'all. These ones get an I. I M O S I accent S. Okay, so this is the main gist of how this works. Um, we're gonna have to do a lot of practice. We practice this a lot. This process gets used through Spanish one the whole year, through Spanish two gets all the way used, through Spanish three, Spanish four, Spanish five forever. You will be using this process. Uh, it gets used for lots of stuff. So we will practice it a whole bunch. Make sure you're paying attention. And if you get confused, please, please email me or message me or something. Okay, um, so let's practice.